Now we're going to talk about some different and non-standard ways that you can use the BV512 as a vocoder. So besides the usual vocal and drum applications for a vocoder, you can also combine two synthetic patches together and get some really interesting sounds. So we're going to start out with a really basic saw patch. I'll play a note for you here. It's just an octave saw from Thor. Okay, so that's going to be our carrier. And our modulator is going to be uh, some string samples from the NNXT. Okay, so you can see how this is wired together on the back. We've got our Thor going into the carrier, our NNXT going into a spider audio, just so that you can hear the dry sound easily, and then into the modulator input. So let's hear how that sounds. So that's in the FFT 512 mode. So that imparts the most characteristics from the modulator onto the carrier. It sounds most clean and realistic. As we go down, it's progressively more noise based almost and synthetic. So I'll just play a chord here. So you can hear all that noise in four band mode. That can be useful sometimes. And of course, remember the FFT mode has that latency, which honestly wouldn't bother me uh, with a pad string patch like this. Of course, you can use the shift knob as well. So you can get some hybrid patches that mix two synthetic sounds together, or sampled sounds, of course. And some really interesting results are possible. I'm going to load up a different sample here. It's called the Bell Pad. So let's hear that first dry. So it's amazing that even though we're actually hearing no audio whatsoever from the bell pad, that it's imparting so much of its tone just onto the saw signal. And then as we move out of FFT to the 32 bands and below, it's progressively less realistic in terms of the bell sound. Before I leave this idea, I want to show you one thing that's missing from a patch like this. The bell pad and the strings I showed you are actually a stereo patch, but we're using them as a monophonic modulator. And next, I'm going to show you how to get a stereo modulator to modulate a stereo carrier.